Hi, my name is Debbie Starcher, and I'm the branch manager of West Salem Branch of Wayne County Public Library. This month, our book discussion group read a book that was very relevant to the Christmas season. The Immortal Nicholas by Glenn Beck. The Immortal Nicholas, um, the novel by Glenn Beck, was written by him in an effort to refocus his children away from presents and to the real story of Christmas and the baby Jesus. The story follows a geos, a man with a life, a family, a father who loses all of this, and lastly, his son, causing him to wish that his life was over, but his life is far from over. And we see that his ability to fight and work with wood show up many times as he becomes part of the greatest story ever told. As you read this book, you will meet characters who are familiar to you as the story unfolds. Here are some excerpts from our discussion, beginning with participant Andrea. I love book club and I love books like this. Um, I would rate The Immortal Nicholas a 10 plus plus. I was deeply moved by the book, by the themes of redemption and compassion and the gift of love that we all share, and I would recommend it to anyone. Also, my friend Michael, who can be here, rated it a 10. What the heck does he have to do with it? And then a little further on in the book, I go, wow, it's about the three blind, oh, three yeah. wise men. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> three blind That'd be my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, I on tape. <laughs> yeah. then I couldn't put it down. It was... 11. <laughs> well, I enjoyed the book very much. I'd probably give it a 10, but it just, I'm kind of like Mickey. This is a story I've heard every year on Christmas Eve my entire life, so it just yeah. embellished on the story. Well, The Immortal Nicholas, it is a novel, so it's not intended to be all factual, but as far as the Christian story is concerned, I think the facts are, are there. Uh, I thought it was particularly appropriate for this time of year as we're coming up on the Christmas season, in fact, as a prelude to the Christmas season. And um, another book that I sponsored several years ago has had some controversy, but I would, I would rate this one even higher than that. So, so I rated this a 10. You'll get no blowback on this one. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Well, I liked the book a lot. Um, at first, as I mentioned, I knew what we were going to talk about. We had read a little bit of the synopsis, <laughs> but I wasn't getting that immediately. But once I got it, um, I thought it was a beautiful story, and I read it, as Gordon said, not as a factual account, but as a... Just a nice reminder, um, it was very moving to me. Again, when that little shepherd boy came and described how he saw the star, he saw the yeah. baby Jesus, that brought me to tears, and that was only the first time. <laughs> there were several times after that, but I do cry easily. I'm a sap. So um, I liked the book a lot, and I read it, I finished it a few weeks ago, so I apologize, I don't remember. The very end, I did not love. Um, I didn't necessarily like the way he became Nicholas. I thought it was slightly flawed and there was something at the very end and I apologize I don't want to grab the book because of the picture on it um, but I didn't like the very end so I will give it a nine but I'm glad I read it. Thank you Gordon. I'm glad I read it too and one of the things that struck me was historically I wish our young people could read it not only for the business of redemption or the Christ but to show the way people lived in those days it was very specific mm -hmm. and how they suffered and how fortunate we are in this country even in other countries but there's still parts of the world that live like that mm -hmm. that you know the young people don't have a clue of what suffering is like and plus the losing of people and, and that it was just very difficult for me to read in that in that sense. But I love the the story just going along and the travels and the adventures 
and the ingenuity in it. And um, then the meeting of Nicholas, and then I knew where he was going with the story when, he, when Nicholas was growing up. And I would have liked it to concentrate at the end there more on Nicholas, too, and what he was getting from Nicholas. It said it to a degree, and I didn't care for the tweak at the end there either. So I will give it a nine. I had never read anything of Glenn Beck's before. I don't really know why, but I think I'm going to find something else and see because I thought the way he put this together, I was I thought it was really neat. I, I thought the their traveling and how horrible that was, and mm -hmm. just when you think about that, to with a tiny new baby, I mean. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. comes all the way through. It's I mean, there's just so much of that, but just yeah. And it would be good for kids to read about that and and, and realize that this is you know this was part of life back then. But the other thing, um, my great great grandfather's name was Melchior, mm -hmm. and I just decided that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. His name is the same as one of the kings. So anyhow, and I decided one day, a long time ago when I found out that was his name, someday when I get something that needs a new name, if it's the right thing, I'm going to name it that, but I haven't found anything yet. So anyway, anyway so I would give it a 10, though. I enjoyed the book right from the very beginning. I just mm -hmm. loved it. <laughs> I thought the description of the land and the people uh, and joy, the suffering, I thought it was all just very vivid that you could almost feel it. Uh, so I would give it a 10. And I have a nativity set that I collect, and we add to it every year. And so with each person, there's a little description of that person. Well, you know, busy me, I just like, well, that's nice, you know. But I'm going to make myself, maybe not this year, but next year for sure, <laughs> read each of those descriptions and try to remember the story um, to try to associate it with it. Because it was a community. It was real people who witnessed this birth. And um, to me, it, it just made the, the whole Christmas experience more real, if that's possible. So I would definitely give it a 10. <laughs> I didn't want to answer did that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you rate it? Oh, yeah, she gave it a 10. Yeah, I'd give it a 10. It doesn't matter how often you read this uh, story, you get something out of it. And uh, I got a lot of warm, heartfelt things. I didn't, I didn't like the fact that he had to die for us, but... Um, it, without that, we wouldn't we wouldn't have Christianity or or the story of uh, him being born because well, you know that was why he was born to free us from our sins. All right, as you can see, our book discussion group really enjoyed this story. It was a moving portrayal of a man who began the story as a father, but ended as so much more. Our book discussion group meets every month on the third Monday of the month, and we're a lively group. Our book discussion group in West Salem has been going since even before our branch was there, so come and join us.